I'm going to be showing you guys the absolute sauce on how to color your videos to look like actual film. Let's hop right into this. So inside of the Premiere Pro here, we have the brand new Rich Forever music video shot by Cole Bennett, and I've converted all the scenes into flat footage. So to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to go into project, right click, create a new item, and we're going to create an adjustment layer. We're going to hit OK. We're going to drag and drop that on top of our clips. I'm going to cut it so it fits each one. Now, starting on the adjustment layer, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Lumetric Color, go into Creative, under Look, we're going to hit None, and we're going to hit Browse. And to color these, we're going to be using my Ultimate LUT Pack that includes over 282 different LUTs with seven additional film LUTs. We're going to be using the film LUTs inside of this. You guys don't want to use my Ultimate LUT Pack. There are a bunch of free LUTs online that you guys can find, but I highly recommend this one because all these were created by me over a long period of time, and I use them on every single one of my music videos. Super quick, before we hop into this video, I'm offering a buy one, get one free Christmas sale. So every single editing pack on our website is buy one, get one free, and you guys can do this up to an unlimited amount of time. So you add three editing packs to your cart, and then add three more. Three of those are gonna be completely free. Alongside this offer, we also have an all-in-one bundle. So if you've been looking at grabbing all of our editing packs, you can get them all in one at a crazy discounted price. Some of our best editing packs are fast moving effects that allows you to add drag and drop hits, shakes, and transitions to your videos super easily. Our LUT pack that contains over 250 plus unique LUTs and so many more effects like drag and drop 3D, slow shutter effects, Polaroid transitions, and a ton more. If you guys wanna check this out, it's all on my website, tinytapes.ca, it's linked below. But let's hop right back into this. Now going on, we're gonna hit film four and dragging and dropping that on there, it's gonna add a little bit of a look as you guys can see. We're gonna expand on that by going inside a basic correction. We're gonna turn up the contrast. We're gonna turn down the shadows. We're going to turn up the saturation, turn up the orange a little bit, turn down the green for sure. And as you guys can see there, just like that, we already have a pretty good looking film look. Now to expand on this, what we're going to do is we're going to go onto our video here and we're going to go into effects and I'm going to use an effect called Dehancer. Now, if you guys want this, you can grab it linked in the description below and you can use my code to save yourself some money as well. I use this to get all of my film looks. We're going to drag and drop that on the clip just like this. Now, as you guys can see, it looks kind of crazy here, but to fix it, we're going to go into film. We're going to disable that here. And if you know the exact camera that you shot it on, you can actually go into source here, hit choose camera, and you can find your camera in here with the exact ISO you shot it on. So if you do want to add their exact film looks inside of here, which we'll do in the next one, super simple to match to your camera. Now we're going to go through each one and make sure we have them turned off. Go expand, turn that off, print, turn that off. Film grain, turn that off. We're going to turn on halation and we're going to turn on bloom. Now, these are the two main sources that we're going to be messing around with. As you guys can see here, if I turn Dehancer on and off, you really get that glow and those red halation lines when I add these. Now, if you want to go ahead and turn these up here, going into halation, you can turn up the amplify to something like 70 if you really want to make it more apparent. And then inside of bloom here, you can turn the amplify to 100 if you really want to make that glow a lot more apparent, as you guys can see there. And we can get a pretty crisp look just like that super easily. Now, I like the grain that's inside of the enhancer, but I really like to use my own grain from my film looks pack. You guys can grab that in the description below. I'm going to show you guys how it looks. Now, if I drag and drop my film grain inside of here, go into motion. We're going to make sure it matches the frame completely by scaling it down. We're going to go and set it to overlay here. Now, as you guys can see, it looks so clean. This is my favorite film grain overlay. The one that's on Dehancer just doesn't compare. It's a lot more customizable, as you guys can see here. But I really just like the way that mine looks. As you guys can see, that's the Dehancer one. And this is mine here. Looks super clean. If we go ahead and turn all this off, you guys can see this is what we started with. And this is what we ended off with at the very end. Looks so amazing. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing with this next clip here. We're gonna keep the grain on top just like before. But let's go into Lumetri Color, Creative, Under Look, Hit None, and then hit Browse. And we're gonna pick the exact same thing by going and picking another film look. Let's go with Film 7 here. This is more of a cool one. Cool as in like the color tone. We're gonna to make that a little bit more blue here. Turn the contrast up. Turn the shadows down, turn the blacks down, saturation up, and then the exact same thing. I don't even need to do it again. We're just going to go into effect controls, hit control C on Dehancer, and then paste it on here. And as you guys can see, just like that, Dehancer is carrying this right here. This is a great film look if we go ahead and turn it on and off, and if we turn the Dehancer off as well. Such a crisp look, and this honestly looks so clean, guys. 
Another way you can add a little bit more sauce to these film looks is if you open up my film matte overlay pack here, we'll go into widescreen. We have a bunch of different borders that you can add onto your footage. Let's go and add a dirty in here. Let's go and add a clean and let's do a round of dirty as well. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can make these look good on your footage. I'm gonna go ahead and scale it down. And under uniform scale, we're just gonna turn the height up so it fits. You guys want, you can hold command on your keyboard to make it a lot more accurate. The boom, that's with the dirty border there. And that looks really clean already. And if we can apply the same thing to the one before, and there's a bunch of different ones inside of here. If I go ahead, we have a cleaner version of the dirty border that doesn't have as much dirt as this one here. And then we also have this rounded one that looks like this. Now this is meant for widescreen footage, but inside of the pack as well, we also have it for square footage as well. I don't know why I didn't use that one. I was just too lazy to redo it. But you guys understand the point. This scene here is pretty much the exact same as this. I'm just gonna show you guys by dragging this adjustment layer on top. We already have the grain and let's copy and paste that dehancer on here one more time and boom you guys can see how much more of a crazy look dehancer adds to that if we go back into our adjustment layer here we can maybe even turn up the saturation a little bit just to have it glowing a lot more you kind of have that travis scott film look that he uses in a lot of his music videos turn this off and then back on you guys can see insane look just like that if you guys enjoyed this video and learned something i highly recommend subscribing for more content just like this and give the video a like as well if you want to grab any of the packs they're linked below and also check out this video right here if you guys want to learn a little bit more sauce see you guys in the next video